Now you must be wondering, why am I whispering? Well, today, our whole thing is about praying and being with God, with God when it's quiet and in silence. So I wonder if you guys can be quiet and silent for a while. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one minute and I want us just to be very quiet. You know, I'm sitting here where there's flowers and there's birds. There's a little bird nest above me. And, oh, it's just beautiful here. And I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds. And let's see if you can be quiet. Are you ready? Let's go. Wow, boys and girls, I'm battling to keep quiet because I'm such a bubbly person and I just want to speak the whole time. Hey, that's quite difficult. But you know what, boys and girls, in the Bible, Jesus te teaches us that it's good for us to be silent at times, just to be quiet and know that God is God. You know, when we are feeling scared, it's sometimes okay just to be silent and just know that God is out there loving us and protecting us. Even Jesus, when he was really, really scared, boys and girls, he didn't want to stay with his friends. He went away into the garden and he prayed to, to God all by himself. We also read so many times in the Bible that when Jesus was tired after a whole day of, of preaching and healing people and having tons of people follow him everywhere, he went, on, he went to the top of a mountain or into a garden where he was just quiet and very, very silent to listen to, to his father, our father God, speak to him and encourage him and strengthen him and give him the, 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 the willing power to actually go on again. And so today, being our last day, I thought we could be very quiet here in the garden. And I want us to remember that you know, this whole week we had fun ways of praying. Let's just remember some of them. Remember, we, we were praising God for those wow moments. We, um, we walked our, our pets and then we prayed for people who were scared. What else did we do, boys and girls? Yes, we, we, we sat around the table and we, we thanked God for everything that we had. While we were doing our chores, we, we, we prayed, we, 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 we prayed, and um, what else? Oh, when we were playing with our siblings or with our toys, we prayed. Oh, we prayed when we were in the bath, remember? And we said, sorry. Oh, we did so many fun things. But you know what? It's also okay just to be quiet sometimes and just to sit and just to let God just be in your heart and in your mind. Do you know when my little girlie was very small, do you know what she did? She built a tent or a cave. She took all the blankets that she could find and all the pillows and she made this very cute little tent cave. And I think that's what you guys should do today because not all of us can go sit in a garden and be quiet, but you can go sit in a little tent or a cave that you make yourself. And you can even name it. She named hers Courtney's Cave. And you know what she did, boys and girls, when she was sad or she wanted to just be on her own or she was mad at me, she used to crawl into a little tent and she would stay there till she felt better. And as she grew older, you know what she used to say to me? I'm going to be selfish, Mel, because that's how she said selfish. And I'm going to spend all my time alone with Jesus right now. And she would take her little Bible and her torch and she would go sit in her little tent and she would just talk to God the whole time. So I think that is what you should do today. I want you to build a little tent or fort. Maybe you can ask one of your siblings to help you or one of your parents um, to help you build a little tent. And then that becomes your little place where you can quietly go and sit and talk to God. You know, you can, while you do that, I want you to, to crawl into your little tent. Maybe you take a, a special pillow with you. Maybe your little special teddy that you've got, um, a flashlight, your Bible. And you can even take a snack with you if you want. 
And then, oh, and don't forget your prayer journal. Oh, don't forget your prayer journal because we need to complete our prayer journal. Hey, and guys, you can take as long as you want to. It doesn't need to be finished today. You can take as long as you want to and you can go back and watch um, every single day again if you want to. If you've missed a day, it's okay because your prayer journal is yours and you can fill it in when you are done. Okay, but when you're now in your little tent or cave and you are all snugged up in there, I want you guys to remember who we prayed for during this 10 days. And I want you to continuously pray for those people. Remember, we prayed for the scared and the lonely. We prayed for um, the people who didn't have food and who were sick. We prayed for, we prayed to, and asked Jesus to help us to find our talents and to use them to help other people. Remember, we, we um, asked Jesus to, to forgive us when we said sorry. And um, we prayed for all the children around the world. Guys, so those are the people that you, in your prayer journal, you need to pray for on a very, 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 very constant and every day. And you know what, boys and girls, there's also times where you must remember to praise God and thank Him as well when you're in your little tent. Okay, so I think this is a very sad moment because I'm going to say goodbye to you now and this is the last time you and I are going to be talking about prayer. But I really don't want you to forget everything that we learned this week. This week, Remember, prayer can be fun, guys, but prayer can also be serious. Prayer changes people's lives and prayer helps us and encourages us. And prayer, you know what, boys and girls, makes us realize how much God loves us and how much he adores being with us and just listening to us. I think that is the most precious thing for Jesus is when we take time out of our very busy day to talk to him. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a surprise for you when we go into our experiment room. So don't go anywhere and I'll see you then. Bye. You can put 
whatever you want, jam or syrup, but we thought we'll keep it healthy, hey. And you can make a smiley face if you want to, I'll see you later. You're gonna make a flower, okay. That's very good, very creative, I love it. What about that banana that's next to you? Do you think, I think we can it's going it to be good, yeah. Okay, so do a pattern. Mm, I want to do. Mm. Can you put your plate down so that the boys and girls can see your pattern? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, swivel your little body if you want to. I want to make it like a square. Oh, know? okay. Like this braid. Maybe it can be nice. Oh, huh? That could be yeah, fun. Nice. Nice. Every part can got banana. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Boys and girls, do you know what the shape is of the bread? Yup, 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 you're very right. What is it? A square. Good job. And the bananas, what shape are the bananas? Circles. Very good. Okay, yeah. so now what are you going to do? Good, you can put your, if you want to. Okay. And you know what, boys and girls, you can do now if you want to? You can take some of your um, Play Doh um, shapes if you want to, and you can make a shape. But you can cut it like you want to. Girls, do you want to just cut it into four pieces, into four squares, or what do you want to do? Okay, into four squares. Okay. But boys and girls, you can go get any shape and you can just do your little bread in a shape. That would be fun. Yeah. Okay. So while Lola's doing that, I think Vicky, it's your turn. Okay. What are you going to, I think you should make um, a friend for them to take with. Yeah, a friend snack. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so because they, get, they might get lonely in there, but if we make them a little friend snack, they will be okay. Yeah. Do you know how to make a friend snack? Um, let me try. Ah, oh, you don't think, how do you think you're going to make a friend snack with it? Shall, shall I tell you? <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Oh. I start with, oh no, I don't I know. I promise you, once you are done, it's going to be a friend snack. Will it? Yep. Okay, so, so I need you to take your knife and put some peanut butter. Put some peanut butter on your Mari biscuit. Ah, oh, I thought only. Ah, oh, uh, no. Now, boys and girls, this is a very healthy thread, and you can make it not so healthy by maybe putting some icing sugar. But don't tell your parents that I said that. Rather do the peanut butter. But if you want to, you can do that. Okay. Icing sugar. Oh, sorry. There we go. Yes. So now, put it down on your thingy. Doesn't that look like a friend? Yes. Uh, not really. Because now it's... You're just being nice. Does it look like a friend? No. Okay. Well, thanks for being honest. All right. So I think we should give our friend a mouth. What about if you took that little piece of carrot and put it down at the bottom? Like a mouth. Oh, let's see. Let's see if you can do that. Ah. What about if you gave him a little nose with your very healthy um, raisin? <laughs> And you know, we have to see, our friend has to see. So maybe those two smarties, ah, yes. can we make it out? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. so now, can I you guess. see my friend coming? Yeah. Ah. And you know what, your friend can't be a friend without hair. Yeah. Even though we all have very hair, bad, bad yeah. very bad hair days at the moment, I think we can make our friend give him some hair. Oh, and see. those are very healthy apples. Wow. Let's give him some some uh, uh, afro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now I can see my friend is coming. What shall we? What shall we? What shall we call him? Hmm. Zoe. Zoe. Yeah. Well, I think he looks like a Taba, but we will call him a Zoe. <laughs> you are so good at this, Vix. Oh, look how nice Lolo's bread looks. Okay, so now we have, that is very good, Vix. So here we have our friend that's going with us into the tent. Lolo, you're going to bring your bread, healthy bread snack into the tent. Okay, now I think, you know, we get very thirsty in there, yeah. don't you think? Yes. So I think we should make a milkshake. Oh. Okay. Now I'm going to make a very special milkshake. Are you ready? Yes. So first, I'm going to put two spoons of chocolate powder. Oh, maybe I should take this out first. Okay. Because that's the last touch. Okay. Two spoons. Do you like it? Do you like it sweet? Yes. 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 So then yes. maybe we should make it three spoons. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not four. No, no, no. Then yeah, yeah, maybe. Four. Oh, it's going to be part of the sweetie. Is it? Yeah. But look at, we have a sweetie person here. Yeah. 
I don't know. Well, Lolo, maybe we need a full spoon, but let's. Now, this is going to mess. Are you ready for a mess? Yes. <laughs> I like mess. <laughs> Listen, Reverend Jackie is going to come and go and be mad because we're messing. Hey? But anyway, let's try let's this. Let's try not to. Maybe. Beautiful glass with it. Look at that, 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 look at that. Mm. Yummy, yummy. You know what? I think, Lolo, you're right. Yeah, we you. can do a fourth spoon. Mm -hmm. Just for Lolo. <laughs> look at that. That looks like a little yummy, 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 yummy. yummy. And then I decided we have to stay healthy, right? Yes. Okay, because we have a healthy little man over there. We have a healthy little snack over there. So look what I'm going to do. Because we have to stay